been talking to Dana Dominici, who's director of public relations North America for Costa Cruises. And Dana's here, and she's the one that talked us into it. And Dana, we're here, and I want to thank you. I want to thank you for coming, and I'm so excited to finally meet you and Chavez, of course. Mm -hmm. So, uh, welcome aboard. Uh, I know that you've had a, a good experience getting on board today, and good travels from that cold weather. Oh God, I could I could brought some of it with me from Chicago, but I don't think you would have appreciated. It. <laughs> no, no, keep keep it up there for a while. Dana, before Greg talked to us about traveling with a uh, working dog, what are we going to look forward to here on the Atlantic? Uh, so many things. Well, first of all, looking at the ship, it's all festive for the holidays, so all the lights, so you already have that festive atmosphere for the week. But beyond that, so many fun things to do on board, from, from food, which is my favorite. That's uh, good. I had some already. You had some already. The great Italian cuisine that is authentic, and you will feel that in the food from the main dining room to the buffet to the specialty restaurant uh, to try it all and experience that. But also great entertainment. The shows are amazing in the theater and the, at night. The music. Uh, already you can hear the sounds of the piano yes, in the back. Yes, but uh, great bands on board. I was just talking to someone about that this week. But we have such an international mix of, of music offerings mm -hmm. that, uh, that that's really something that encompasses the cost experience as well. To, um, to great activities that allow you to go outdoors on the Lido decks, to inside, and of course the beautiful parts of the Caribbean you're going to have all week. You know, I noticed when I came in to register, and I was on the second floor, the first floor, of course, you're taking care of your business. When I came up on the second floor, the lady was very nice. She spoke to us, and then after they took our pictures, you know, for security reasons, the ship was open, and I just felt warm, and it's like, come on in, you're welcome. Absolutely, and that's a real, that's an Italian trait as well. I think that um, that, that resonates from, from just the fact that we're an Italian cruise line. You feel that warmth, that welcome, mm -hmm. and, and also uh, this is the, really the heart where you are right now, and where you mentioned where you walked in the atrium, mm -hmm. is the heart of the ship. This is where all the central activity happens, where you can have a cocktail or a drink, mm -hmm. uh, you can go to guest services and, and take care of any business that you need to take care of. Uh, it, it's a great meeting point to with, with people in your group. I know you're traveling with 10 people. Yes, so we let's are. So say you need to coordinate a time that you all want to meet. This is a great place to do it. All right, you have a great trip. Oh, I am.
what does a person have to be? What type of qualifications would you suggest to anyone else who wants to be a Costa captain? Start from the school. Mm -hmm. I started from the school. I started. Uh, I was 15 years old. I started for the nautical school in my country, mm -hmm. and after that, uh, I finished the school. I started to embark on board uh, as a cadet cargo ship. First of all, it was a cargo ship, mm -hmm. and uh, in 1988, I started with the Costa. Uh, it's a carrier. It's a carrier, but. Uh, the only point, the, the, the first point until the last day on board will be, uh, let's say, to be first to be retired, before to be retired, mm -hmm. is the passion. It only for passion. The passion. Because there is a lot of, uh, as you say, responsibility, yes, far from is. family. Uh, so that is uh, so you have to really only with the passion. What you're doing. You have to love what you're doing. Uh, yes, I love it. I love it. Being a cost of captain, huh? Mm -hmm. Like that, huh? I like it. <laughs> <laughs>